We are making gluten-free fried chicken today and I have a lot of weird allergy things so I can't have cow's milk but I can have goat milk. So we're gonna use goat milk kefir instead of buttermilk to marinate the chicken. Um, and so I'm gonna use about a cup and a half. And then I'm gonna add some spices to it. Look how thick that is. Um, and then pour it over some drumsticks. All right, so I really enjoy Thrive because they give you packets of spices and spices expire so then i know you know like when this is going bad so i've got about a tablespoon of garlic powder that i'm adding into the goat milk and Alright, a little trick so that you have to use less marinade is to cryer vac or vacuum seal um, some chicken in with the marinade. So a little bit goes a long way when you vacuum seal um, ingredients with a liquid. So I've got my drumsticks. I'm just going to add them to the bag. We are making mashed potatoes next. So I like to peel potatoes directly on a towel. Um, so it just makes the cleaning, uh, like cleanup of the peels a lot quicker. Um, and if you don't have a Y peeler, they're super cheap on Amazon and they will become your new best friend. Um, okay, so Brent and I make our own chicken stock. Um, and so what I am going to do is, you know, defrost it. It's not hot, warm. Brent and I get a whole chicken maybe every other week and we cook it and roast it in the oven, take away all the meat, keep the bones, and then, you know, add different leftover vegetables from the fridge and create our own chicken stock. Um, and then we just put it in these pork containers in the freezer so it's ready to go whenever we need it. All right, I'm gonna make a chipotle aioli. And I like the Sir Kensington's mayo because I am allergic to egg whites and they only use the yolks. Um, so I'm gonna make all of this because we go through it super quick. And so I'm just gonna pour the whole jar in a bowl and then add some chipotle pepper. Little random fact, 
lines are not green. They are actually yellow. And the reason why you find that they're green in the store is because they're prematurely picked. Um, and then they kind of just sit in the store unripe. And so limes, when they're ripe, they're actually yellow. So for this one though, I'm gonna add probably half. And I love limes because you don't have to worry about seeds. So you can squeeze directly. But like, look how easy that all came out. It's because it's a ripe lime. It needs more heat. It definitely needs more. All right, I'm just gonna reuse the container and pour it back in. And I wish I had a funnel. <laughs> You may have noticed I changed because I have a life and a job, but I went to work out and I'm back to finish dinner. So we're going to start on the mashed potatoes. Um, they're all cooked, they're tender, they're ready to go. So I'm going to strain these. And this is where you see my lack of arm muscles and why I go to the gym. I'm about to put bacon fat in these mashed potatoes and yes, you heard that correctly. It is bacon fat and then I've got some hot goat milk just warming um, and then I'm just gonna put this bacon fat in to melt and then just stir it up. Biggest thing when making mashed potatoes is you actually want to let the potatoes sit for a minute to dry out and a bit like steam and get the water content out um, because then they have more of a chance to absorb all that delicious bacon fat and goodness that we're going to add to it. So I'm just going to liberal, liberally, there we go, salt them and then connect it to a KitchenAid and then we're going to pour in the milk and the bacon. The chicken has marinated for a couple hours in that goat yogurt. And then I have my dries in a cambro. 
that we mixed together. And I'm only gonna put about five pieces in to shake up because that's about how much my pan can handle. And then my oil is just above 350, so it's about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And the reason why it's above 350 is because once I add that cold chicken, it's gonna drop the temperature. And so I wanna make sure that that oil is hot um, so when I add the cold chicken, I know it's going to drop it down to about I'm going to put it about five All right, so I want to tap off the excess flour and then straight into that nice, oh my gosh, look at that sizzle. That is what you want, into that hot oil. All All right, I'm going to make a gravy with the bacon fat because everything's better with bacon. So I'm going to turn my pan, get it warm, and then I'm going to get this melting.
Get him, Mike.